if you guys didn't see my power rankings video yesterday make sure you go check it out i'm really interested to read all the comments on those seems like it got a lot of interactions a lot of people talking about who they think is the best team heading into black ops cold war and one of those teams that everybody is talking about is of course the atlanta phase Today, we're going to be breaking down the last round of a control matchup of this Black Ops 4 throwback tournament. This was like a week or so ago now, but I wanted to make sure that I was going back and continuing to cover what's happening with control because it is going to be that third game type heading into Black Ops Cold War. So I just want to make sure everybody is well rehearsed on it so that when the actual game releases, we can get right away started immediately with breaking down film. This is the map that they are playing on. So just to kind of break things down, you have an attacking side on the right-hand side. So offense or stance is spawning on the right. Defense is spawning on the left. You have a point towards the bottom of the map. You have a point towards the top of the map. So as of right now to set the setting, it is 2-0 in favor of Atlanta Phase. They are playing the Dallas Empire squad in this one in particular. You guys didn't quite hear this because it developed over the first couple rounds, but Atlanta has streaks. So what they're trying to do or what they're going to do here is they're going to push this bottom site down here. Once they're able to capture that one, the upper site, so the site up top, this guy is harder to capture, but it's outside. So by pushing the bottom of the map, working really hard to capture that point first, They'll then be able to push the top side of the map, use their streaks to go through and secure a victory. But without further ado, let's go ahead, let's head on over, and let's tune into this. So again, we're on board with Simp. This was their entire roster. So you have Simp, you have Arsides, you have Abizi, you have Celium. They played just phenomenally throughout the entirety of this throwback tournament, and you can see this is that bottom point that we were talking at before. Abizi gets a kill. Arsides gets a kill. Celium gets a kill. Arsides gets a double. That's four down. It's basically a capture point, right? So you can see on the left-hand side, you can see that little circle, and it's filling up. Right now, they have two ticks done, and you can see Simp off of spawn right there. He immediately rotated to the other point because at that point in time, the first site, so that A site was already captured. So at that point in time, they made the read that we're going to be able to get that one. You get one team squad with most of your team still being alive. You're going to be able to capture that A site. So at this point, they're rotating over to B. And now with the capture of that first site, they can afford to be a little bit more passive, right? So one thing about control is that you have a limited number of lives. So on the left-hand side, you can see it says 26 to 22. That means that Atlanta has 25 lives left and Dallas has 22 lives left. So you either win a round of control by capturing the point similar to what you do in search and destroy or by winning the life battle so this has not been a good stretch if you're just thinking in terms of atlanta right because they were up 26 to 22 and now it's 21 21 and they're the team that's on offense so if you're that team that's on offense that means you're basically it's the same in search and destroy right if you have to run to the site where the enemy is already set up then you're at a disadvantage and that's kind of what they're working through right now but luckily for them they have some of the best slayers in the game they have now i mean rc is one of the top ars Celium one of the best flexes in the entire world so that's what you'll be seeing right there with that, let's go ahead. Let's listen in to the last minute or so of this round. We don't get to hear Simp and Abizi and Celium and those guys very often. So let's listen in. I'll pause it when important things happen. But I want you guys to be able to hear exactly what they're talking about here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spawn kill. I'm going to spawn kill. I'm going to spawn kill. All right. One's going mid. Illy's going mid. Other two are probably going to be their side. I'm mid, yes. Nice. They're probably gonna be there, sir. There you see the streaks coming in. So Celium uses his missile. That allows them to gain more time inside of the hard point. Also allows them to gain the kill favor. So at this point in time, all they have to do is just finish out those last couple kills. That's exactly what happened right there with RC's getting a kill, Celium getting a kill. This wasn't the best showing in terms of this map overall for Simp. But you can see right there at the bottom of your screen that Abizi went 22 and 9. 
And that's just what happens when it comes to the Atlanta phase, right? You never know who's going to end up popping off because every single player has the ability. So in order to beat a team like Atlanta, you basically have to have every single player play just kind of so-so, and that doesn't happen, right? Abizi popped off in this one. Earlier in this tournament, Selium went absolutely nuts and single-handedly basically won a hard point on Seaside. Arceus, we all know about his talent, and Simp. If you're starting a franchise right now, you're probably taking Simp with your number one overall pick. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you enjoy this sort of thing? Hopefully, we're learning a little bit more about control as we're about to head into the Black Ops Cold War season so that once those matches start, we're a thousand percent ready to roll. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, it helps out the channel. And as always, guys, thank you so much. We will see you in tomorrow's upload.